Duckies, Andy here, and we've got a brand new plugin for OBS, which I'm super excited to have a look at. I'm looking at this live on twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy, uh, so I've not seen it yet. But if we go up to tools, we have a thing called custom window docs. Okie dokie. So we can give the doc a name. So I'm going to say um, doc one because that's cool and then we can select a window and look at these windows these aren't browser sources we can use any window so what have we got here if i want to pull in say streamer bot i could pull the streamer bot window in i could pull the streamer bot chat window in so i'm using the streamer bot chat doc which if you guys use streamer bot you you'll know that if you press the chat button there it brings in this window just here so i'm going to throw that onto the other monitor so it doesn't confuse you and if I open up this and select the chat from Streamabot just here and press apply, Captain Cabinet, Doc1, there it is. There it is. So we're learning on the fly here. Oh, my actual God. This is an OBS doc, baby. Woo! It, that is that right there. Holy moly. And it's as easy as that. That is absolutely crazy. So we can add any window that's in OBS. Uh, I mean, any window that's on Windows into OBS. So I could choose another window and we'll be able to see there's probably a bunch of different ones here. We've got what I could add Discord into there if I wanted to. So I could add Spotify, for instance, and we'll call it Doc2 for now. Press apply. It flashes up, flashes down. That's cool. And we'll go to docs and open the dock. Whoa, that's crazy. That's crazy. We've got we we've got Spotify inside of OBS. So the thing that I am noticing though is it actually closes down. Well, it looks like it's closed down. So if I open Spotify now. It's not going to like open because it doesn't think that it's open because the, the window is no longer being managed by Windows, I guess. So it will be inside the, the docs. So if I, in theory, remove, so I'm kind of going through this at the same time so we can learn together. So if we go back to the docs and press delete and apply, it comes back to Windows then. So that's something to bear in mind, okay? So it's almost like... OBS then controls that application in a way. So if you're like, oh my God, I've got music playing, but I don't know where it's playing from and all that jazz, it's probably that's the reason. And you can grab this straight from the OBS forums. It is called Window Doc, just here. I'll leave the link in the description and it's super easy to install, just like any other plugin. I've got tons of videos on the plugins. Let me know what you guys think. Press that like button if it's helped you out. Also subscribe because I'm always like pretty hot on new plugins and stuff. So if you want to stay ahead of the game for your streams and your OBS setups, then subscribe, all right? Or come and visit me at twitch.tv forward slash Andy where I answer questions live. Put your rock over the stone. Much love.